Okay, one of the big problems with the liquid nitrogen is virtually everything condenses in it. So usually it's actually quite hard to see the liquid itself. For the simple reason, any water vapor or whatever that gets in there instantly condenses and fogs the whole thing up so you can't really see it. So it's actually, because I've been really still, everything that was condensed in there has now sunk to the bottom. However, if I blow in there, you'll see what I mean. <laughs> but this is what you usually get over liquid nitrogen. So, what does it look like? There's me, a little pile. There we go. So I've actually got some liquid nitrogen in here. Let's see, I'm going to clear off some of the CO2. Um, you probably can't see that too well. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a clear flask and pour it in there. There we go. That's what liquid nitrogen looks like. Clear, <laughs> boiling liquid. And it, it, it's not got very good thermal contact with this, so it cools down relatively slowly. There you are, let's get some more nitrogen. That's good enough. And this time, let's pour it in some warm water. Let's see what happens. And as you see it boils off, and if you get underneath that, what you should find is you should be able to see the liquid nitrogen floating on the surface. That's it floating on the surface, boiling away. Okay, so that's liquid nitrogen and water. Let's try that with ethanol. ethanol. Now if you try it with ethanol, you should find it. Oh, oh, uber thick smoke. But you'll notice not only is this thicker, it's denser too. So let's see if I can actually compare these two side by side. There we go. So what you'll find is this is water at the back, so now this is only optically less dense, it's physically less dense, so what you'll find is one will pour much better than the other. So that's meth um, ethanol sorry, in the foreground there. So, that's some fun with liquid nitrogen.